Welcome back to Chukitibu Media. There was a Mr. big Speaker, argument our constitution in the House of Representatives yesterday for freedom of worship of all religions. Mr. Speaker, the argument was not about anything, but uh, it was about a Sharia law bill proposed by one of the members of the House. There was a clause in the previous uh, Sharia law in the 1999 constitution and the mover of the bills has intention of that little sentence or the little word to be changed to make the Sharia law more effective. Anyway, Sharia law or no Sharia law, what I want to let us know is for us to go and find the principle behind what we call Sharia law. And the proponent of all this law, this Sharia law, and where they want it to be used, these classes of people, we will ask ourselves, is it not better for them to first of all use that Sharia law on themselves first to see how it will be so that they can pass the example down to the people because the example is supposed to come from them. They are proposing to enact or to change or to revitalize a kind of Sharia law that they say they have before in order to make sure that it is now well okay for the rest of the country to use according to their argument. But my question is, are these people also, you know, working according to the Sharia law? Did we see in their character a uh, point that relates to people that believe in this Sharia law? Or do they just want to make the law for the rest of the country to be punished? So there was a lot of arguments yesterday, but I want you to listen to how it went down between these people. And I'm going to take it uh, one by one to give you the points. A bill seeking to make Sharia law not just a personal matter in the constitution has been rejected in the House of Representatives yesterday. The bill seeks to amend section 24, uh, subsection 262 and 277 of the constitution by removing personal in the application of Sharia law. Personal in inverted comma. The sponsor of the bill Aliyu Misao said commercial entities find it difficult to operate, noting that uh, the constitution did not envisage entities like Jais and Taj banks, these Islamic banks. However, many lawmakers interpreted the move as an attempt to broaden the scope of Sharia law, which is often limited to marriage, inheritance, and other personal issues. Bamidele Salami, a lawmaker from Oshun State, said the bill should be rejected because it has potential to derail the freedom and joy by the religion in Nigeria. We must be careful, he said, with any changes to the constitution that could further widen division in Nigeria. In any case, the matter my colleague seeks to address are already covered by the existing law, he said. Similarly, Awaji Inumbeki Abianti said the bill should be stepped down because of the danger it holds. On the other side, several northern lawmakers supported the bill, stating that the proposal is harmless. Saidu Al Abdullahi, Abdullah Adu Hamed Satomi, and others spoke in support of the bill. However, the opposition to the bill was fierce when it was put to question by Deputy Speaker Ben Kalu. The nay hadis. Oh, the nays hadis, as they used to say. So, that is it. But, uh, you know, I don't have any problem if they have to bring the, if they have to change this clause or that sentence personal in the bill being proposed. But I want those people proposing this bill, this Sharia bill, to go and use it over there first and let's 
then be a good example to the rest of the country. But if you say you want to put, you know, uh, Sharia law over everybody, though, that is actually not the argument. But those people in the house are so, you know, paranoid about the word Sharia. They were so paranoid. And that is why. Because changing that clause uh, to allow companies, businesses also to uh, use Sharia law in their dealings, in their transaction. I don't think there's anything wrong about it, but they said, no, yeah, it's going to cover this, it's going to cover that, it's going to affect this and that and that. So that was just the crux of the problem, the crux of the argument of the proponent. But I am saying right now that, okay, that Sharia law they are talking about, let them show by example. Let people, other people also see that Sharia law is a good thing. When they use it over there, with themselves, not with ordinary Nigerian. This is Chucky Tipo Media. Think about it. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Put on the notification button. God bless you as you do. Bye for now. Mr. Speaker, our constitution allows for freedom of worship of all religions. Mr. Speaker, we would not sit in this hollow chamber and restrict ourselves to just a few. If we begin to put such components into the Constitution, tomorrow the ecclesiastical faction comes up. The day after, the traditional faction comes up. The day after, all other components begin to come up. And what happens to our grand norm that is supposed to be the foundation of our existence? Mr. Speaker, Nigeria has never limited anybody from practicing his religion. You go to states like in the north where you have Sharia being practiced as the criminal code for those states. It is because it's peculiar to them as a people and as a presence. By the time we begin to expand it and bring it into our constitution, we are not an Islamic state. We're a secular state. We're not a celestial state. We're a secular state. We are not a traditional worship state. We're a secular state that respects and gives everybody a sense of belonging. We're a nation. We need to be sensitive to the mood and the existence. Freedom of speech, freedom of association, to live in happiness. Not a scenario whereby there could be some misconceptions. To this end, I wish to crave the donors of the sponsor of this bill, that he steps it down for more legislative input which and consultation, which would be more in tune with our beliefs and the norms. But I do not believe it is a legislation that should pass for second reading. I so submit. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, my respected colleagues. Uh, I want to comment as the first, uh, the second to the last speaker spoke. In fact, the bill that was moved by the sponsor, uh, we are supposed to commend him. I agree Nigeria is a secular state where we have different opinions, traditions, religion, and what have you. But uh, if you see this motion or this bill, it will help Nigerians to know that uh, these commercial banks, especially Taj Bank and what have you, many people have the perceive that uh, these banks are specifically for Muslim, while it is not. So by expanding this nature, I believe when it is encompasses to everybody, many people will see the benefit of this bill, and I believe in the near future, many people will see that uh, the mover put this in the right direction. Thank you very much. Honorable Kuye. Yali Kuye. I rise to add my voice to this uh, all important um, motion for a bill to amend our constitution with respect to the expansion of the description of Islamic law. Let me start by saying that the constitution mandates 
our government that they shall not adopt any religion as a state religion, meaning that Nigeria is a secular state. Number two is the fact that Section 38 is very clear as to the rights given to all Nigerians in terms of choice of religion and how they worship. Section 2 goes further to say that Nigeria is a federation consisting of the federal government and then the state governments, giving the states the liberality to adopt whatever kind of law they want to use in governing their people. And that's why we have some states with all this Sharia law and all of that. They are permitted to do it, the state as of assembly. But the Constitution, as a ground norm that governs all of us, the traditional institutions, the Obas in the Yoruba land, the Igwe in the East, the Shakiri, the Fulanis, the Hausas, gives us only one right, the right to choose whichever one we want. We can therefore not allow this constitution to become so filled with frivolities that is supposed to be the mandate of the state. We have all been clamoring for physical federalism. Give more power to the state to do it the way they want, to do it in the way of the culture of their people. And that's why I will want to implore the mover of this uh, motion to please um, allow us to please step down this amendment for the time being so that we can deliberate more on it. Because of course, from the way I see it, it's such that the state should be considering, not here. The problem of religious war, we started as far back as 1938 in this country. Let it not start here again. Let it not be that it is this house that is going to put fire to the very fragile democracy, to the very fragile situation, the unity between us. It's very important. As we are talking now, people are hearing us. People are seeing us. Thinking that we want to promote one religion over the other. I therefore pray that we step this down for the time being. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.